In this lesson, we are going to continue learning how to do synthetic division. Just so you know, long division would work for these problems also. Um, and it's not done any differently for long division. So you can try these with long division. If you can do it that way, you're great. Synthetic it has a little bit of a difference um, in the process, so that's why we're doing this lesson on it. The one thing you'll notice about this first problem is you'll see that I have the 2 in red. The reason for that is when you did synthetic the first time, this was always a 1 here. And so that changed how we did the problem. When, it's, when you're dividing by that coefficient with the x of being 1, there's nothing special you have to do. When it's a 2, because synthetic is a certain process that we're learning, there's a procedure that changes that. So what you're always going to start by doing is you will divide your entire problem by 2. Whatever that number in red is, is what you change your problem by. So I'm going to divide this whole problem by 2, meaning I would have 4x cubed plus 6x squared minus 2x minus 3 and then divided by x minus 1 half. And that's my new original problem. From there, my process is the same until I get to the end. So right now, I'm going to do synthetic the way we learned how the other day. So I'm going to take what I'm dividing by and set it equal to 0 and solve. So I get 1 half to be x, and that's what's going to go in my box here. And then I take each coefficient and list those for synthetic. So I'd have 4, 6, negative 2, negative 3. And then synthetic will be the same from here. So I'm going to bring that 4 down. 4 times a half is 2. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 times a half is 4. Negative 2 plus 4 is 2. 2 times a half is 1. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. So there's my synthetic. Remember, this part's always your remainder. And then I'm going to start my answer one degree less than what I was given. So this would be x squared, x, and this is the constant. So my answer is 4x squared plus 8x plus 2. Now here's a special way to handle this remainder. And I want you not to write this down. I want you just to listen for a minute because the way I'm going to start with it isn't going to be right. We're going to get to the answer in the end. So I want you to see where that comes from. If I wrote right now my minus 2, how we were taught to write it, it would be over x minus a half, wouldn't it? Because that's really what I just did. I just divided by x minus a half. The problem with this answer is that I have a fraction within a fraction, which is not allowed. So what I'd have to do with this remainder is I'd have to times this by 2 to get rid of that fraction. So I'd end up with 4 on the top, on the bottom I'd have 2x, and then minus 1. That's what timesing by 2 would do. That's going to happen every time when we have a fraction in that spot or when we have to start our problem by dividing. And so what we want to do is we want to actually have our, our remainder as over the original divisor. So I'm going to erase this part. And we, are originally, we were originally dividing by 2x minus 1. So that's what I want this to be over. So what you have to do with your remainder whatever you divided by in the beginning. So up top here, my red number, I divided everything by 2. So then with my remainder only, I have to change that and I have to times my remainder by 2 to make that work out. So then I'd have a 4 here. And it's, I still have the negative sign here, so that's why I'm not changing that sign. So that's the only kind of, I don't know if you want to call it a trick, it's kind of a special case because synthetic is a process. And so you're going to have to remember, too, whenever you divide the original problem, your remainder, just your remainder, not your other coefficients, just the remainder, gets times by the number you divided by. So let's apply that now to number 2, just to see if we get it. So in number 2, I would start by dividing everything by 2. So I'd have 2x squared minus x plus 3 divided by, and then I have x minus 3 halves. So as I go to do my problem, I'm going to come over here and say... I need to figure out what am I solving for x. So x is 3 halves. So that's what I put right here in my little box. And then I take each coefficient, remember. So 2, negative 1, and then my constant of 3. And I'm going to go here and set up my synthetic. So I bring my 2 down. 2 times 3 halves is 3. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2. 2 times 3 halves is still 3. And then 3 plus 3 is 6. So that's my remainder. Remember, I bring it down one degree, so this is my x and this is my constant. So my answer is 2x plus 2. And then with my remainder always, 
since I divided by 2 in the beginning, I need to now times my remainder by 2. So, and the reason it's plus instead of minus is because it's a positive remainder. Last one we did was negative. So plus 12 over the original divisor. So right here, that's always what it's going to be over. So over 2x minus 3. And this is one of those that you just have to do a couple practice and you should get the hang of it. Um, we're going to do one more together. So number 3. And this one, if you want to pause the video and try this on your own and then see if you get the same answer, that would be a good idea right now. So this one, I divide everything by 3. So I would have 2x squared minus 1 third x minus 7 thirds. So I'm having some fractions here, which isn't impossible, just kind of annoying maybe, right? Divided by x plus 1 third. So now, on the side, I'll take what I'm dividing by and set it equal to 0 and solve. So I get x to be negative 1 third. I put that over here in my little box. And then I'm going to list each coefficient. So 2, negative 1 third, negative 7 thirds. Now, as I start my process, I bring the 2 down always. 2 times a negative half would be or excuse me, I wrote half, didn't I? Let's make that a third. You guys almost got yourself a pack of gum. There we go. Negative one third. Let's make it so you can actually read it. How about? There we go. Two times a negative one third would be negative two thirds. Negative one third plus negative two thirds would be negative one. Negative one times a negative one third would be one third. Negative seven thirds plus one third is negative six thirds, which is really negative two, right? So there's my remainder. Again, I start my answer one degree less than my original problem. So I'd have two x minus one, and it's going to be minus because my remainder is negative, and I times that remainder by three because I divided by three. So negative 6 over my original divisor, which was 3x plus 1. There's a start. What I'd like you guys to do for tomorrow is the back three problems. We are going to do those in class, just to make sure you have this down and um, so we can talk about it a little bit. But I want you to start them and try them to make sure you know, um, kind of get the hang of it, and we'll see where your questions are, and then we can do them together, and you can work on your homework after that. Um, remember, I didn't have any in here that had a zero spot, but notice number four right away, if you're looking on the back, there's an x cubed missing in that problem. So make sure you put a zero in that spot for synthetic for that place value.